Welcome to episode 349, Dietrich Metasheets, Red Bull 8 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 349, lesson 1 to lesson 4. This is an outline of episode 349, lesson 5 to lesson 8. Lesson number 1, Partnership as Business Strategy. He did not invent Red Bull, Charlie did. When Chaleo died in 2012, he was the second richest man in Thailand. In 2018, with a net worth of $25 billion, Dietrich Metterschitt is the richest self-made billionaire in Austria and one of the richest men in Europe. Both Chaleo and Metterschitt win big. Lesson number two, raise the price, raise the image. So let's go take a look at it. Well, first of all, did you know that Red Bull was in Thailand? And it was in these gas stations and these long distance truckers, the people that would drive trucks a long distance to deliver products and things, they used to come in and pick it up. From its humble roots as an energy tonic and a drink for Thai truckers driving long distances overnight to the world's most well-known sports and energy drink that defined a category, Red Bull's success is undeniable. Although Red Bull does not cost more than Coca-Cola to produce, Metashit charges three times the price, thus raising a premium image. Lesson number three, how to fight the big boys. The big boys are Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola. He invented extreme sports and events. And Dietrich developed another ingenious marketing tactic. As an avid sports enthusiast and a proud owner of a pilot's license, Dietrich was well aware of the rise of extreme sports during the 1980s. That's one of the reasons why he gave the drink its emblematic slogan, Red Bull Gives You Wings. Dietrich's first venture into the world of sports came in 1991, when he organized the first Red Bull Flugtag in Vienna. The event brings together competitors from across the globe who try to fly their homemade human-powered flying machines, usually with minimal success but great entertainment value. The success of Flugtag convinced Dietrich to start hosting other sports events, and to that end he's been spending an ever-increasing amount on this alternative marketing strategy. In 2011, for example, Red Bull's marketing book Lesson number four, customer first. Never talks about the product, never talks about himself, only concentrate on making the best events and the best extreme sports memorable. Lesson number five, he's the father of energy drink, which is a new category of drinks. And he reworked the taste a little bit because he felt that it needed to be a little carbonated and it was a little too sweet uh, for the taste of the Western audience. So in other words, they tweaked it and they tested it carefully. They came up with the branding and there it was. He launches Red Bull. What he didn't know at the time is he wasn't launching a new drink product. He was launching a new category. Energy drinks did not have a category under themselves. In America, energy drink was called coffee. That if you were driving a long way, you stopped at a diner and got your thermos full of coffee, got back in your truck and went driving on your way. Coffee was your energy drink. Well, Red Bull would redefine the energy drink segment to be a whole class of its own. And I think that's one of the real amazing things of the story of Red Bull is they didn't just launch a drink, they launched a brand new category and a whole industry followed. Lesson number six, Red Bull cash flow cycle. In 2018, he spent $2 billion advertising, which is 80% of the profit plow back. The budget amounted to $2.1 billion, so stunning 84% of their gross profit. The list of events. Lesson number seven, no external financing. Metashit is not bringing his company Red Bull public. He said he has no need to borrow capital. Red Bull remained one of the largest privately held company in the world. Lesson number eight, extreme sport, extreme growth. Red Bull started in 1987 with $1 million investment, 50% from Metashit, 50% from Chaleo. I put Metashit into another category of self-made billionaire. Small country, big billionaire. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Have a Red Bull and peace and prosperity.